first thing you want to do is you want to open the app if you don't know where to find the app you can simply go into uh, your web browser and you can go to Rainio's website which and download it from the apps section and once you open the website and once you uh, install it and everything you can simply drag an app into this box right here you're gonna select and drop into the box you're gonna take the next one which is my video editor you're gonna also drag into this box you see it says release and hold you release and hold and then I'm gonna take this store right here and also drag it into uh, so now I have these three apps you can move them around whichever way you want once this is done you're gonna select apply and once you select apply it's gonna display in your glasses okay this is a different day now but I have all three windows open I have my uh, video editor over here here I have the app store you know the Windows app store and here I have uh, a web page I was actually uh, looking at batteries for you know e-bikes and stuff like that so I don't know how it looks on your screen, but it is very stable. Uh, sometimes when your screen record, what you get on the video, it's uh, is a bit different than what you actually see in person. It's it's more stable in person. Um, having no there is no screen tearing right now. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, and then on the bottom here you have exit space you have flat you have curved you have position to move the displays around and here sort uh, I think sort is to like shuffle the display so you can have one instead of this here you could have this on this side I think so I'm not exactly sure but I do know that before you enter into this space you can move the windows around now I'm experiencing a little bit of a screen drift. Screen drift is when the screen slowly moves to one side of the screen. So in this case, my screen is slowly, ever so slightly moving to the right side. What I'm gonna do to move it back is I can either drag it or I can use this button right here called the position. Once you select position, you move the middle windows to wherever you want to put it and you click and then that will position it there so now for these windows you can resize each and every one of them like they could be completely different sizes so for example this is my main window um, I like to keep my main window the same way it is but as you can see I can move it down or I can move it upwards and now it's a little bit bigger than the rest of them so uh, exit and now if I want to resize this one as well, I could just click on this edit and I can maybe decrease the width. That way I don't have to turn my head as much. And then I think you can, yeah, you can increase the height as well. And you can just keep going until you reach its maximum. Oh, another thing is, you see this right here? You can actually move it around so you can move it farther apart or you can move it uh, a little close so you don't even have to use your mouse to drag it you can just look wherever you want to put it so I'm gonna put it right here and that's it so now I have my third window on that side and here I can do the same thing I can even let's say what about this which one I can even put this one all the way over right here so as you can see I could have stacked windows I could have this one up top this one below and this one to the to my other side so 
I, I really love the versatility of this right here let me click on this again and move it back okay cool now when I'm actually editing videos I would actually make this bigger and put it up top uh, that way I have a much better view or I could just simply make this bigger one of my favorite thing about this is the fact that I have this big old infinite space it looks like I'm in space so I can just look around and there's all these stars and stuff it's very much I'm in the galaxy of my own and if you don't like this you can simply turn it off and you can just see through into the real world or if you're in a dark room then it's gonna be a dark dark environment but I personally love this it actually causes less high fatigue because there is more stuff which means that there's less my eyes as to kind of there's less you know light focusing on my eye I don't really know how to explain it but basically here you can control the brightness as well and I, I really like this okay so let's talk about its disadvantages some of its disadvantages is the screen drift the screen drift is where it occasionally moves to one side it does that from time to time um, I know some people say that they experience screen wobble I don't have none of that I don't know if it's because my PC is on the more a little more powerful side but this is perfect for me and it is very very clear and then uh, the other big disadvantage or downside is that so I have all these windows right I can't easily interact with my actual windows so I can't just open the you know like a file explorer I would have had to set it up for me to be able to drag and drop and you know things like that I would have preferred if I had just my start menu right here that way I can easily click on it and now you see this mouse is in 3d right if you want to interact with any of the windows all you have to do is double tap and now I as you can see I can actually it's not the best I'm you I can interact with the uh, with the windows so here I was actually recording myself uh, doing uh, speed runs on my e-bike which uh, if you haven't seen the video check it out if you're into e-bikes I would have posted this video before you see I would have posted this video right here before you actually see this one that I'm uh, this one that I'm making right now for this uh, PC software so check it out if you're into e-bikes even if you're not you know support the channel you know it's not just about tech I mean e-bikes are technically some kind of text so check out my other stuff I appreciate all the support but anyways now if you move out and you go to the another screen you can double tap to interact with it as well so I can even I can you know do whatever and let me go out and go to the web page you go to web page um, you know you can scroll up and down if you want to shop you can shop if you want to go through uh, Amazon Prime speaking of I don't even know if Amazon Prime will play videos well let's let's try it out now I will be surprised if you actually play videos nope it's a black screen so due to DRM you're not gonna get a video it's just gonna be a black screen but you're gonna get audio though but that's nothing new it's basically the same thing with um, every other software like Nebula uh, you know any other virtual uh, software it's gonna be all the same but anyways guys thank you guys for watching this has been my overview of the Rainios mirror link I think it's called mirror link or whatever mirror it's called thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe if you like my channel if you like my videos I truly appreciate you guys I truly appreciate the support and to exit you just simply click